I told myself I would get out of bed at 8 o'clock. It's 9.20. <laughs> okay. been working out in the garage because my brother is working in the basement and it's actually not that bad. I don't have that many machines though so I'm thinking I want to renew my gym membership because gyms are still open by me so I kind of want to go so I can use like the machines and like heavier weights and stuff like that. But for now this is my setup. It's literally just a mat with some weights. My workout will include too much equipment so you guys can do it at home. If you have anything that's heavy, I'm just gonna use some dumbbells if you guys have like water jugs, wine bottles, um, purses that you can like fill with stuff. Honestly, anything works. I'm include the workout in this video and if you guys wanna do it, then go ahead and join along. I'll include how much of everything that I do in the little upper hand corner. I'm alive, but I'm dead. We just finished. Enjoy my garage background. And now I'm gonna make some breakfast. I got some things from Whole Foods and Trader Joe's the other day because whenever I come home from school, my family has like no groceries in the fridge because they go out for meals a lot. Um, I guess you can't really go out for meals, but they go out and carry out food and bring it home. I got some stuff from Trader Joe's and Whole Foods that I wanna try out. I've been trying to incorporate more plant-based things into my diet because I've been having some like digestive issues and I just haven't been feeling my best. And also I noticed a change in my face too. I was breaking out a lot. So I wanna see if the things I got eating more plant-based will help me at all. For breakfast, I got a lot of vegetables and like these plant-based sausage patties. So I think I'm gonna make that for breakfast, a little breakfast scramble, see if it's good. I also got dairy-free cheese the other day and I don't really mind it. I actually kind of like it. And I was really nervous because a lot of people were like, Oh my God, it's so gross. Like you can't beat regular cheese. But I actually don't think it's bad at all. My face right now is even looking better. I know I have like some acne um, in places, but I'm noticing a difference. You know, when you can notice the smallest difference like in your face. But yeah, so I'll keep you guys updated on that. I think I'm going to try it out for at least a month and see because i feel like if i do it for a week or just like two weeks that's just not long enough to actually see results so i'm gonna shower and make some breakfast and get on with my day so that's all
that actually looks so gross and is not aesthetically pleasing at all but it's in a bowl now so i thought it would be cool to like show it you in the bowl but it doesn't look good so it smells good though <laughs> Almost out of this old Henriksen Truth Serum. I absolutely love it. Put it on my face like morning and night. I have a skincare routine. You guys have already seen me do this, but still going strong. I got a new mirror. That's why I'm sitting here, even though my mirror's over there. I'll show you. From Home Goods. It's very nice. I'm gonna redo my whole room. Right now, my room is blue and yellow. When I painted it, I think I was like a sophomore in high school. Those are my two favorite colors. So I wanted to paint it that, but I'm just like over it and I don't like the colors anymore. It's too much going on. So I'm gonna paint it this gray color. I just picked up the paint the other day actually, um, but this mirror is nice because it matches and I think I'm gonna get rid of that mirror, like the whole top part of that dresser. This is basically how my hair looks every single time after I wash it. It's like super knotty, um, but that's okay. <laughs> this is like the only thing I put in my hair too. It's called It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Product. It detangles it super well and also hydrates it because I don't really use like a lot of conditioner on my hair. So in the winter it can get kind of dry and brittle so this really helps. Okay, much better. But it's seriously crazy this thing detangles my hair so well i'm gonna go to the mall right now but i actually wanted to show you guys what i got from zara i'm keeping like half of it I, I got like four things so i'm gonna show you guys everything that i got i'm keeping this um i got a little sweater it's not a sweater vest it's like a cut off sweater um turtleneck i actually really really like it it's not cropped i could crop it if i wanted to though because it's like a raw hem but the material is super soft i really like it and then i think i might even wear this for christmas and put like a long sleeve shirt under it yeah i just really like it it's not that like fitted but I'm definitely gonna keep this one and I think it would just look really cute with a long sleeve under it. And then even in the summer, I think I could wear it too if it's like a colder day. And then I got basically kind of the same thing, just a turtleneck and it's a crop top. But I really like it. It's fitted. It's a little bit shorter. And a lot of the times when I wear sweatshirts, I'll put like a turtleneck on under the sweatshirt just to layer and stay warmer so this would even be nice to wear under a sweatshirt if i don't want to wear like a full long sleeve sweater under my sweatshirt i could just pop this on under and stay a little bit warmer but yeah i really like this and i definitely think i could wear it in the summer too not just for layering in the winter so i'm gonna keep this one so these are the jeans i got a size 34 which is a two in the US, um, but they're just straight leg. And I love straight leg jeans, but these ones, they had a little bit too much material and too wide at the bottom. Since I'm so short, I just feel like they kind of swallow me and make me look like, I don't know, I'm like disappearing. So I think they would be cute with heels, but that's like the only time that I could wear them. And I don't wear heels like super often so i just think that i would need them to be more cinched at the ankle but i think they're cute they fit really well in the waist i just wish they were a little bit more fitted they're really nice so if anyone is looking for straight leg jeans and you like this little wider of a fit then definitely look at zara and now for the leather pants so these were just way too long i have so much excess at the bottom um because i am 5'2 so they just didn't really fit right they're nice though i just i don't know they're kind of weird i've never owned a pair of leather pants so i guess i'm just not used to it but yeah they're just too much excess material like at the bottom for me um so i'm gonna return these two honestly pretty successful overall i really like the two shirts i got and then the jeans and the pants just didn't really work for me because i'm too short also last thing that i got that i'm going to return I got this sweater from Urban Outfitters, and I think it's really cute. It's just like a cropped fleece sweater. It's a little fuzzy, um, but I just don't like the color. I thought the color was a little bit darker, but I feel like it washes me out. It's, I don't know. I don't really like the color. So I know they did have it in other colors, but I got it when it was on sale, so I don't think it'll be on sale right now. So I think I'm just going to return it, but it is super cute. I just, I don't know. 
the color. Every single video I make without fail, well, <laughs> almost every single one, there is a clip of me starting my car. Just feel like it adds so much to the cinematic effect, you know? I just think that's funny and I just realized that I always do that when I get in my car. I'm like, let me film me starting my car. Just so you guys know I'm in my car now and I'm going somewhere. I don't know. Okay, so I'm on my way to the mall right now. It's actually freezing outside, so I put on a very thick scarf because I'm so cold. But I'm gonna return my Urban returns and then Zara returns, get my mom a gift. It's like 1.15 right now. So I have my final at 3.30. I probably should hurry up so I can look and study for my final before it starts. But online school, I've just, it's basically not real. Also, I don't even know if my computer is charged. Uh, I'm just gonna go. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna make these returns and I will see you guys after that. Bruh. I just drove all the way back home because I got into the mall and I usually keep the cards that I have in the back of my phone and they weren't in the back of my phone. So I was like, oh my God, I left them at home. I drove all the way back home, reached into my coat pocket which I did at the mall. I reached into my coat pocket at the mall and I didn't feel them, but they were in my coat pocket this whole time. So back to the mall I go, still have all my returns and I have like an hour before my test. <laughs> this is honestly just comical. I'm not even mad, just like, of course they would be in my coat pocket. Okay, we're just gonna take two on the mall thing and go all the way back sweating right now i wore this big scarf because i was cold but walking around in the mall especially when i was like speed walking because i don't have that much time i was like so rushed okay so i want to show you guys what i got from my mom so i really like the one that i got and i haven't showed her it yet so i got her the same one i, I don't know i just think it's really cute and she's always cold too so i just thought this was a nice little layering piece that she could wear because my mom is actually always cold um that's like her catchphrase is i'm cold i think she'll like it now i need to go home and study for my final because i have like 30 minutes so let's go just finished my test and now i'm eating because i haven't eaten since breakfast and i'm starving um i made a little i already ate one i forgot to show you guys but so i've been using the siete foods almond flour tortillas and some dairy-free cheese, tomato, and then Trader Joe's kale pesto. And I put Trader Joe's veggie burger on top. I just like sauteed it in a pan and then cut it up into pieces and split it into the two tortillas. I already ate one because I was really hungry, but I wanted to show you guys what it was before I finished because it's actually really good. I've been having this like every single day. I need to come up with new recipes. <laughs> 